Hey, this is Dustin with TechMD. Today we're going to be doing an iPhone 6 water damage. <clears throat> uh, it's completely shut down and turned off. So the first step is obviously to take out all the screws and get the phone open and, and going here. Just going to open up here and check out what kind of water damage we got. Marker is already off up, up here, as you can see, hopefully. Whoa. That must be really corroded just to fall off like that. That's never happened. The camera piece is broken. So this is all corroded right here. We're just removing some screws here. Pop that out. Unscrew this here. And they're getting on with their lives. And I'm proud of them for coming forward. And I'm asking anyone else that has a similar story to come forward. Come forward and talk to us. Just unscrewing all of this. Lots and lots of screws, guys. Keep it all organized. Pop these off, pop this up. Should be able to take that out now. Yeah, we do got that one screw. Yeah, it's off. So now we have to uh, remove the plates here. We're gonna set this off to the side. tool here. It's just a SMS rework station 898. Put it on all the way high 450 degrees. Okay, but before we start that actually we need to put some flux on this. I like to use the no clean stuff. Cable in the back here, we gotta remove. By the way, you only want to do these kind of repairs if you're trying to recover data. If not, just send them to Apple. Because once you've done these repairs, Apple's not gonna take them.
And now that we got that going here, now we can uh, pop off this. Just warm it up here. I actually just bought a soldering mat, so I'm excited to get that. Get this other side here. Just lift up a little lightly and it comes right up. Once you get it warm enough, of course. So I forgot to mention it earlier, this is Dustin with TechMD. And we make these videos here to uh, show technicians on how to do advanced repairs and also show the world that we can do uh, more difficult uh, repairs like the iPhone 6 here. If you're interested in getting your iPhone 6 repaired through TechMD and you want to mail it in, we can definitely do it. We have some very advanced techniques here. Okay, so we're going to let that side cool off for a second before we flip it around. If you're good, you didn't bump any resistors here. Okay, so we let it cool off just a bit. Okay. Let's heat up the plate once again. It starts smoking, usually it's hot enough. Shouldn't let it fall that hard. That might have been bad. This one's giving me a lot of resistance. Okay. 
Yeah, to see if I bumped any resistors here. There's a lot of corrosion under this one. But, looks salvageable. Okay, so I don't salvage these plates. It's near impossible anyways to put them back on. I guess you could, but I don't see the point if it doesn't work out. You only want to do this if it's water recovery. Okay, so I just get some 91% uh, alcohol get at CVS or Walgreens or even Walmart. Soak the board really good and then get your uh, toothbrush out. I'm just going to scrub and clean off any corrosion on it. It's a little hard to do there, so you can actually take it out and do it. Clean our connections really, really good. Okay, now for the ultrasonic bath. And after we scrub it really good, I'm gonna pause it in our mirror right here. Okay, so we're gonna take our old ultrasonic bath liquid here and just properly clean it out. Um, all you do is just pour it in the sink here. Obviously the old stuff, do not rinse it at all with the sink water. That would be bad. We're gonna take our distilled water here and pour some in here. And we're going to take some soap. Good detergent soap works really good for me. And we're gonna scrub it. With no sponge. Get all nice and bubbly in there. Soap will never hurt the board if you have excess soap. But we're gonna try to get that all cleaned out real well. This is the process I use every time. Okay, and then we're gonna wash this out with distilled water. I'm gonna pause it. Okay, now after washing it out here with the distilled water, we're gonna take some napkins and just dry it out. I'm supposed to be getting my Crest cleaner here with the Branson EC. It's supposed to be better, but I have really high success doing this method here. Now we're going to take our 91% alcohol here. And we're going to put enough in there just to cover the motherboard. A little bit of double the thickness of the board. Don't forget your little piece here. Put that in there. Anything else that you feel is going to be water damage, 
if the button doesn't work you have to put that button through the cycle in there um, if uh, any of the other things don't work you have to put it through the cycle but usually the screen doesn't survive the cycle eh. actually it never survives the cycle so just don't do it you have to replace the screen almost every time okay and we hit on my button does not like to work okay so 10 times over uh, 10 cycles 30 minutes and then we dry it out and test it <laughs>